Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Glory Room. I'm Prophetess Lou. I hope you all are having a blessed day. Before we get started, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you for life, health, and strength. We thank you for loving us and taking care of us. Forgive us of any sins we've done. Holy Spirit, we welcome you onto this podcast. Uh, Father God, we ask you to touch me. Help me to say what you want me to say. Help me to be guided by you, Father God. I, I give you the, the increase while I decrease, Father God. Help me to say exactly what you want me to say, Father God. We ask you to bless the people that are hearing it and bless the people that are reading it, Father God. And Father God, we just thank you for your day for the day and we thank you for your grace and mercy in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So the verse of the day is John 8 and 47. Whoever belongs to God hears what God says. The reason you do not hear is that you do not belong to God. Subject, I belong to God. Christian truths, I'm going to say it and pause behind each one to give you opportunity to say it if you like. I'm listening to God. I hear God's voice. I am focused. I am loved. God is trying to prepare a lot of us for the future, for the attacks and traps of the enemy. But a lot of us don't try to slow down so we can hear the voice of God. When we speak to us, we rather ignore what he's trying to say or we don't slow down enough to hear him. So today, the Holy Spirit wants me to talk to you about all about slowing down and listening and not guessing. Listening to him when he speaks and how to discern his voice from ours. Now, this is a, a topic a lot of people don't like to cover, but the Holy Spirit has revealed to me something deep. I want to pour into you like he has poured into me. First, we must understand that when we hear his voice, we will honestly know it. If you have to question it, it must not be from him. But we must understand is that God wants us to hear him in such a loud world. We must take the time to listen carefully because it, it is so easy to get into what we want, thinking this is of God. This is this has has happened to me. But as we grow and understand God is God, it becomes so easy to understand. John 8 and 47 says, whoever belongs to God hears what God says. The reason you do not hear is that you do not belong to God. If we don't hear him, it might be because of sin or something we have ignored that he has warned us about. So before we start these steps or journey into hearing him, you must figure out whether you have been ignoring him. And are you committing sin over and over that could block you from truly hearing him? Take this moment now and ask him if, if this could be the case. The Bible verse is saying to us that if we do not hear him, it's because we don't belong to God. Do you belong to God or do you belong to the darkness? Isaiah 40, 30 and 21 says, whether you turn to the left or to the right, your ears will hear a voice behind you saying, this is the way, walk in it. Are you going the right way? Many times he could be telling us which direction to go and we won't go because of fear or doubt. But when God tells us the way, you will know it right by what he's saying. It won't cause confusion. It won't harm us. It will always be the right thing and feel right. You will know by how his words make us feel deep down. We have to learn to tune into the Holy Spirit. Here he is saying, this is me. I need you to go. I need you to do this. It's overall feeling, not emotion. It is peace you find deep down. God wants us to know the direction that he's pointing us in. It isn't going to leave us alone. It isn't going to bring us close. It's going to bring us closer to him. We can know when we we speak because we speaks because it's we know when we speak because it's flesh based and God would never have us to do anything that's flesh based. John 10 and 14 says, I'm the good shepherd. I know my own and my own know me. God knows us. He can. We can sit here and say that God doesn't know us and no one knows us. But the fact is, because we are his creation, he knows us through and through. And when we study the word of God, we begin to know him and learn his ways and attributes. God has a different attribute than anyone you will ever know. The enemy will look to pressure us, but God won't. The enemy will look to force his will upon us, but God won't. God will always allow us to do what we want and allow us to see that his will is the best for us. But the enemy would never sanctify what you're looking for. But God can quench every urge we have. So today, don't ignore the voice of God. We, we all don't like to be ignored. We don't like to say something and it feels like no one hears us. And this is what we do every time we ignore God. It doesn't make him want to speak to us. It doesn't make him want to engage with us. But what we what he would do is become more silent because we aren't 
listening. When God speaks, we need to give him our undivided attention. We do exactly what he asks us to do. When we are we have determined this is God and not ourselves, we must then forget our will and listen to him. Do you think Abraham wanted to kill his son? No, he didn't. But he knew that God will work it out. See, no matter how bad it looks, God will fix it. Prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for allowing us to hear the word uh, today. We, we thank you for allowing us to be in your presence. We thank you for letting us hear you when you speak. Lord, help us to recognize your voice. Your word says your sheep hear your voice. And Father, help us to hear your voice when you speak. Lord, we need to hear your voice every day. Lord, as we read your word, we ask you to pour into us. Lord, help us to be hearers and not doers of your word. Lord, please help us to be content in whatever you give us. Lord, we ask for whatever that is in this word, word today. Help us to apply it to our lives. We seal this blood in your, we seal this prayer in your blood in Jesus' name. Amen. So the prayer, so the, the devotion today says, I belong to God. When we belong to God, we hear his voice. It says it when it says, whatever belongs to God, hears God's. The reason you do not hear is that you do not belong to God. A lot of times we don't hear God because we are so far into what we want to do. Sometimes we don't hear him because maybe we're in a very loud place. We might say, God, I need a word right now. And we got the radio on. We got uh, kids running around. We got our spouse talking to us, sisters, brothers, whatever it may be. You, you can't hear him over that because sometimes you're so focused on other things that you lose focus on him speaking. And he might have already spoken to you and you think maybe that's just me. But in order to hear the voice of God, God's when he speaks to you is always going to be based from a scripture and it's going to, you're going to feel your spirit man connect. It, it's a, a, it's not a feeling, but it's not an emotion, but it's, it's something that it's not a, when you hear the voice of God, you will truly feel connected to that voice. When you hear the voice of the enemy and the things that the enemy say, it's going to always be defeat. It's always going to tell you to do something that's contrary to the word. That's why it's important that you read your word. A, a lot of times we don't know the difference between when the enemy speaks and when God speaks, especially if you're a babe in Christ, because you don't know your word yet. That's why it's important you get in your word, because God's not going to never tell you to do something to harm yourself. God's never going to tell you to do something that's that's different than what his word says everything that god says to you is going to match up in scripture it's going to match up into the walk that he's trying to lead you into we all are at different levels in our journey some people i'm gonna raise my hand to this i can hear him in a crowded room some people can't hear him in a crowded room some people can hear him constantly talk to them some people can't we all are different, but it doesn't make anyone better than the next person. But what we have to work on is hearing his voice and making sure that we follow his instructions. A lot of times he would get silent if he continued to speak and we just continue to ignore him. We cannot ignore his voice and expect to hear him when we want him to immediately. We have to apologize if we offended him. We have to apologize if we offend the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will come to us and tell us, hey, you, you don't need to do this and you don't need to do that. And we decide to ignore him. Well, I'm going to do what I want because that's not that's not something I, I, I want to do today. I, I don't want to go this way. He wants me to go that way. I'm not going to do that. And many times we will find ourselves in a bad way because we are simply have heart in our hearts. That's rebellion. Rebellion is next to witchcraft. Look at King Saul. Look at Jonah. Look at David, a couple of his situations. When we disobey God, we will go on our own path and we always have to be led back the way he wants us to go. That's why it's important that we know his will. That's why it's important that we wake up in the morning and we say, God, I, I don't have a lot of time, but I want you to know that I love you. I want you to know that I care for you. I want you to know that I want to hear your voice and, and that I want you to pour into me what you need me to know. We have to always try to connect with our source. That's our power source. I have a, a electric box by my bed with my phone chargers, my Nintendo Switch charger, my tablet charger. Any charger is connected to that source. And uh, the other week, uh, my my dad seen it. And he said, "Lou, you need to get you a bigger one." He said, "This." 
that one is small for all that you you have attached to it i said well i have different spots as they all connected he said yeah but you can overcharge it see the thing is when we connect with god we won't get overcharged we won't it won't blow up it won't pop it, it won't do anything but we'll be connected to the main source and when we connect to that main source we'll hear him when he speaks uh, our our mind and will will want to yield to him every day we must yield to him just like every day i got to connect my phone because if i don't connect my phone my phone would die right every day we must connect with him because as long as that as long as we're not connected with him we will continue to die spiritually but every day when we connect ourselves to god reading our bible praying meditating wherever it is when we're connected with him we are truly connected with the true vine. One of the Bible verses that um, that I love so much, and it tells us, um, I'm going to try to find it because I want to quote it right. It tells us in the, in the Bible verse, it says, I am the true vine and my father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit, while every branch that does hear fruit he prunes so that he would so we so we'll be even more fruitful see when we aren't fruitful and we're not doing what we want we're not doing what he wants he cuts he pushes back he don't leave but he pushes back but those that are producing fruit those that are changing those that are hearing his voice those that are engaging with him every day it says he prunes them so they can make more fruit Sometimes he got to prune us. Sometimes he got to change us. Sometimes he got to mold us. We're not going to walk this life, this Christian walk, and be the same people that we were three months ago. If we are those same people, we are doing something wrong. That means we're not hearing the voice of God. Every day is an opportunity to change and hear the voice of God so he can give us instructions. If it's something in your life that's, that you seem to not want to let go, say, God, this is something that I have tried to let go and I can't. I've tried to change and I can't. And he's going to tell you, it's okay, I got you. Let me show you how. Let me show you the way. He can't show us the way if we're not stopping to hear his voice. That's why it's important to, to have morning prayer. So that when everybody else is sleeping, we're talking to him. When everyone else, else is, is, is maybe doing something else, we're talking to him. That's why if you can't do it in the morning, do it in the evening. It's okay to do evening prayer. I, I don't judge anyone that doesn't do morning prayer, evening prayer. But as long as you get prayer in, I, I only give the best advice from where i have walked and i have learned that the best time to pray is in the morning the anointing the fresh oil we go to the mountaintop and we sit and we commune with him because that's what he wants to do he wants us to hear his voice in today's lesson the holy spirit wants us to know listen to the voice of god and when you hear it do not ignore it open your word ask the holy spirit to teach you when you're reading your word because that's how you would know when he speaks, because it will connect. Some of us, our emotions are some of everywhere and, and we, we do what we want. We, we don't have no regard of maybe he's saying not to do this and maybe he's saying not to do that. We do what we want to do, what we see fit. But the word today says, is, I'm the true vine and my father is the gardener. He cut off every branch that's in me that bears no fruit. If you're going to ignore him. If you're going to do what Saul did, or you'll do what Jonah did, or sometimes what David did. If, if you're going to do those things, he's going to push away. So why would he try to speak to you if you're going to ignore him? He even says in verse 4, remain in me as I also remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. We can't walk this life by ourselves. We can't hear, we can't do what we want to do, inspect our life to go well when that's not what he wants us to do. If we don't know his will, how are we walking in it? It says, it must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. Going back to the power source. I can't have any charge on my phone unless I plug it up. I won't be able to make it through the day. I might get 10%. I might have 10%. It might last me 20, 30 minutes. It depends on the phone type that y'all know what I'm saying. But if you don't plug up your phone, how will you have power? So how do you expect to have power in God if you don't plug up into the source? Amen. How do you expect to have power to, to save souls? How do you expect to speak to people and speak according to how the Holy Spirit wants you to speak if you don't plug up to your power source? 
We have to learn that our power source is God. This world power source is money, lust, and, and big cars, and, and fancy homes, and, and the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. That's their power source. But what's ours is peace and understanding through our power source, which is the true vine. It says in verse 5, I am the vine, you are the branch. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear more fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. We can't do nothing while hearing the voice of God. So every day we must yield ourselves to him. Yes, I know that situations get hard. And sometimes it's hard to push away from people that you truly love. But God's telling you, hey, I need you to leave this person alone. Hey, I need you to get rid of these things that's in your home. But we must learn to listen to him when he speaks. Because when he tells us to stay away from this person, or he tells us to get rid of these items, if we don't do that, we're going against him. We must obey our father. Because we don't want to be people that we have to question, do I belong to God? Because I don't hear him. If you ever get to a point in your day and you are you have prayed to him all day and you have not heard him, stop and say, God, I haven't heard you. I, I don't know what I could have done, but whatever I done wrong, please forgive me. You want to get that thing right, friends. You want to get it right, right then and there. You want to apologize and not go a moment longer. Because what happens is as long as we're away from him the weaker we get if i i can go all day and not plug that phone up and it would die right because it's not plugged up so when i have time i, I leave my phone charge and i don't touch it and i leave it there i let it stay and i let it get as much charge as possible that's what we must do we must get before god and stay there so we can get as much charge as much connection as possible to god because the more you connect, the more charge you will get. The more you connect, the more understanding you will get. The more you connect, the more you hear his voice. But we can't hear him if we're ignoring him. Let's look at some verses today. 2 John 1 and 9. If you have your Bible, go to 2 John 1 and 9. 2 John is in the back of the Bible. If you're doing like me, the old school way, having your, your old paperback Bible in the back of the, the Bible, okay? 2 John 1 and 9, NIV says, Everyone who goes on ahead and does not abide in the teaching of Christ does not have God. Whoever abides in the teaching has both the Father and the Son. Verse 9 in NLT, anyone who wanders away from his teachings has no relationship with God. But anyone who remains in the teaching of Christ has a relationship with both the Father and the Son. See, it says it right here. Anyone who wanders away from his teaching has no relationship with God. When we wander away, when we don't pray, we don't read our word, we don't connect, we don't try to search him, search for him, we don't try to meditate with him, we will have no relationship with him, it says it here. But anyone who remains in the teaching of Christ has a relationship with both the Father and the Son. When we read our Bible, when we meditate, when we pray, we become connected. A lot of people want devotionals and teachings about blessings and um, increase in this and increase in that. But what we need to work on is our relationship with God. What we need to work on is us hearing God. What we need to work on is being more compassionate, being more kind. We need to work on characters and attribution, attributions of how we are as people because we cannot grow in God if we don't change and we don't most certainly build a relationship with God. Let's go to John 10, 26 through 27. Remember, if you have your Bible, um, if you go to the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, okay? Um, we're going to chapter 10, verse 26 and 27. Remember, if I'm going too fast with the verses, the verses on the bottom of the bio of every podcast, along with a link to the Surrender Ministries website so you can read the devotional. Okay, 26 and 27 says, but you do not believe because you are not among my sheep. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. Verse 26 and 27 in NLT, but you don't believe me because you are not my sheep. My sheep listen to my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. See, it says, but you don't believe me because you are not my sheep. My sheep listen to my voice. We listen to him. When we are his sheep, we listen to him. We know what he's giving us is our source. We know what he 
what he's giving us is what we need. It's manna from on high. Just like when the Israelites asked uh, God to feed him, he poured manna from on high and quail. He, he poured those things from on high for them to eat, for them to have some kind of nutrients. This word is our nutrients. If we don't pick it up every day and eat it and read it and understand it and not glaze over it, we won't understand. It, it, it says it here. My sheep listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. You could tell who follows the word of God by the way they act and the way they line up the scriptures and how they meditate and how their fruit, the, the, how they bear their fruit. I hope you all have a blessed day. We have one more key verse, but it's at the bottom of the bio. Um, if you're looking for the memory verse, the verse of the day, the, the further reading, things of that is at the bottom of the podcast. I hope you all have a blessed day. Remember, Jesus loves you. I love you too. Remember to like, subscribe, and follow on any major platforms. Remember to share with family member or friend or even place on your uh, social media sites. I pray you all have a blessed day. Thank you.